interestingly enough, and there's just as many studies out there that show that over speed training, so still doing a, a sporting skill very similar, but now you are increasing the speed at which you do the movement. So uh, with jumping, a common one is they uh, tie a bungee cord to the roof, strap it onto my back or through some type of harness. And now when I jump, I'm a lot lighter and I go through the jumping motion a lot faster. And if I train that way, hey, look, I I've also improved how high I can jump. Um, or uh, with sprinting, let's uh, there's um, some Scandinavian folks uh, that have developed some really fascinating technical equipment that will pull on you with the precise load as you're running to help you run uh, just that right amount faster. And that improves speed. So towing stuff, over speed, even uh, very simplistically, uh, J Jamaican sprinters are uh, will do slight incline and decline running um, to simulate overload and, and over speed. And, and they both work because they both uh, have different mechanisms. You know, so the over speed um, will probably stimulate my nervous system to send signals to my muscles at a faster rate to contract, whereas the overload is telling more muscle fibers to contract. And, and, and if you, if you go just the right amount above and below to get an overload and an overspeed, then, uh, you'll see the fastest adaptation. Um, and so, so, so it's a, it's a, it's a neuro, neurological adaptation and it's a physiological adaptation simultaneous. Yeah, that's right. And, and certainly initially the neurological one covers more ground that, 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 that branch of things. And you can see the greatest improvements changing, uh, the, you know, it's tough to separate 